everyone, it's Jeff. Today we're going to be loading a basic program from a terminal program on a PC into a Tandy Model 102. I'm not using the TRS-80 Model 100 today because, well, I filled up the memory in that. I've got plenty of memory left in the 102, so we're going to be using the 102. But it's the same thing for the Model 100. The first thing we need to do is to hook up the Model 102 to the PC. Now I'm using an RS-232C out and that's going to a 9-pin serial jack. Now I think if I had a, uh, an RS-232 to RS-232 this would also work. I would need a converter to go to USB. I just don't have one so I can't be certain that it would work but I think it would in any event. Um, I've got my RS-232C going to the 9-pin serial jack and then a USB converter going up into the, into the PC. Now when you plug that in, the PC opens a port. It's usually the same one, but uh, it does open a port. It's uh, 1, 2, 3, or 4. And the terminal program is going to be reading that. Now this is the basic program we're going to be transferring. Nothing special about it. It's just basically on a notepad. It's a text file. When we load it in, the terminal program sends the text, but the 102 will load it as a basic program, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So what we want to do is load our terminal program. I use TerraTerm, T-E-R-A-T-E-R-M. And that's a free download. I'll move this over to this window. Now this is already set up to talk to the 102, but if this is your first time, you might have to do some configuring. Make sure that you're on the same um, com as uh, as the 102 is on, as you know the USB converter puts it on. Uh, also, you want to make sure that your baud rate um, and your your uh, your bits, your your parity is all the same. Today we're going to be set up at 300 baud. I know that sounds slow and um, through the RS-232C the 102 can take a whole lot more speed but when loading a basic program it's got to be pretty slow. You can control your terminal programs configuration through the setup drop down. So we're going to be configuring the 102 when we load the basic program. I'll show you about that. Just to uh, show that we actually do have communication we'll we'll go to the telecom program now as you see in the upper left hand corner we're at 38 n one e so we're at 300 baud 8 bits non parity and 1 bit the E stands for X on uh, for what we're doing X on X off the uh, if it was X off it would be D that doesn't matter We'll go into the terminal program. We'll say hi Terra term. Hi Terra term. And as you can see, it transmitted that. So, um, okay, so what we want to do is transmit a program from Terra term into the 100. Now how we're going to do that we will exit to the menu we're going to go into basic and we're going to type this in. Well first we'll type new then we're going to type this in load quotes com colon 3 for 300 baud 8 and 1 e and quote now if you type this in and you press return nothing happens and that's a good thing the system is waiting now what we told the 102 is that we're going to load a program from the communications port so it's waiting for the program from the communications port and we're going to send it. 
when we send it, the system does everything automatically with one exception. And that is telling the 102 that the, the program is ended. So we're going to have to do that manually. But let's set it up. I see I spelled Terra term wrong. That's good. That's what happens when you type and you're not looking. So how we send the file, we go to the file menu and we select send file. I don't know if you can see that. But we select send file. Okay, I fast forwarded that so you didn't have to go through the, the pain of me trying to find this file. But um, we're going to be sending this file, random.ba, it's a random number generator, no big deal. Now when we click OK, you'll see that the system just basically prints out the contents of the text file. As it's doing that, of course, it's sending it to the 102, and the 102 is going to accept it, but as it accepts it, it's going to be tokenizing it. In other words, it's going to be interpreting it as basic. This is the reason that we want to do this slowly, because the 102 can't do this very quickly. If we did that, uh, did this at a higher speed, it would error out. We'd have some data errors. So uh, we're doing this at 300. I've heard you can get away with it at 600. I have actually not had success at that. But um, if it works for you, great. We're doing this at 300. So let's click OK. And you'll see underneath the, the uh, status menu, the file was sent. Now it is being sent here. You're seeing nothing still on the screen, and you're not going to. The system didn't tell the, the 102 that it was done. We do that by sending a control Z. So that's right here, control Z. Now when we press that, we don't see anything on the on the terror term screen. But you'll notice it says OK. Now one thing about this, depending on the size of the file, depends how long it takes the 102 to digest it or tokenize it. You can uh, do a control Z and still get no response for several minutes if it's a large program. But don't panic, it will eventually work. Now, what I did is I loaded this just like I would have loaded it from a cassette or a diskette drive. The system now has the file in its memory. We can list it. And there's the program. Now, if it came over with errors or flaws, it's in in those line numbers with error or flaws. So you always want to run your program to make sure that it works. Yeah. There you go. So now, what I can do with this when I'm done, if I prefer, I can just type new and get rid of it. I can save it. Save it as R N D M dot B A. And you should be able to see that. Yep, it's the last one. So that's how you load a basic file from a terminal program and run it, list it, save it, do whatever you want with it, change it. So until next time, everyone, take care.